Hello everyone. My name is Pankaj Kumar and I am working as a principal product manager with Data Protection Group at Veritas. This video demonstrates setting up a call home proxy configuration using a credential management system or a CMS through web UI. Call home proxy support was added so that customers can configure a proxy server to upload the usage insights data and for upload of net backup product telemetry as part of the net backup product improvement program. Apart from using CMS web UI to configure a proxy server, you can also configure it using a command line tool called NB call home proxy config. This tool can also be used to validate the configuration. Proxy configuration is a two steps process. The first step is adding a proxy configuration credential using CMS web UI. And the second step is adding a key to the net backup configuration, mapping call home proxy name to the CMS credential name. The credential management tab is available under net backup web UI. CMS can be used to add several different credentials to the system. And as you can see, we do not have any at this moment and I'll go ahead and add one. I am providing the credential name as my proxy. It is very important to keep track of credential name as it is needed to configure the key in the net backup configuration. Tag is not a required field, but I am going to fill it in with usage insights. Likewise, description field is also optional, but I'll populate that as well. Now on the next page, you can see several different kinds of credentials that CMS supports. The particular one that we are using is the last one in the list called call home proxy. There are two flavors of call home proxy that we can configure an authenticated proxy server that requires a username and password and unauthenticated proxy that does not require a username or password. For this demo, I am configuring authenticated proxy server by providing inputs for proxy username and password, then proxy URL and port, and at the end, the CA certificate. To get the contents of CA certificate, I am going to a terminal running on the same system, then display the contents of CA certificate and copy them. Now paste the certificate contents to the provided window on CMS web UI. After clicking next, it shows an option to set a rule based permission. It is not needed for this credential because it is accessible through CMS as the root user. Hence, it has all the necessary permissions it needs. On the next page, it gives us a chance to review the inputs and finish the add credential process. After clicking finish, it shows that the credential has been added successfully. But this credential cannot be used yet for the proxy uploads. The second thing we need to do is to create a mapping in net backup configuration, which is a very simple step. You just need to add the proxy name under BP set config file using echo call home proxy is equals my proxy and my proxy is the credential name that we created. So those were the two steps. First, we created the credential in the CMS and next set the key in the net backup configuration. This is what lets the telemetry agent, which is the transport mechanism for both net backup product telemetry and the usage insights to collect the data and upload. And just to verify that we got the credential, we can use the NB call home proxy config tool using the terminal window. You can edit or delete the proxy configuration through the CMS web UI. To edit the configuration, you need to provide the values all over again. The deletion of proxy configuration is a two steps process. After deleting the proxy configuration, you also need to delete the key from the BP set config file. That's it for this video. By now, you must have realized the entire process of setting up the proxy server for telemetry is very simple and straightforward. Thanks for watching.